Hey guys, um, sorry if the lighting's really bad, but I'm going to be doing my, it's like spring type uh, makeup tutorial. It's really, cons it's really going to consist of like a pastel-y orange kind of with some pink throughout in there. So yeah, let's get started. So first, you want to take your eye primer, eyeshadow primer, eye primer, <laughs> eyeshadow primer, just a little bit goes a long way. And just dab it on, and make sure to put it on your ring finger, because that one applies the mo like least amount of pressure, and we want to save our eyes, and don't want to cause premature wrinkles, because that would be no bueno. Okay, now once you get it on your eye... Okay, next I'm going to be taking. That is not the right brush I want to use. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like in the middle of getting ready to go to school and I'm wearing this shirt. I don't know how you guys can see it. It's a really pretty corally peach shirt. Okay. Next, from my Smashbox palette, I am going to be taking. How well can you guys see this? This color right here. It's a really pretty peachy color. It's a light peach color, and this is just going to be the base for my eye. You should, like, barely be able to tell it's there. I just want to create a very nice base. And if you want, I would recommend this, but since I'm such in a hurry, I completely forgot about it. I would really recommend using, um, well, I'm just using uh, my Jumbo um, NYX white eyeshadow pencil, because it'll really bring out the pastels better, and that way you can actually see it more. But since I'm in a hurry, I'm just going to kind of skip over that step and hope you guys know what to do. <laughs> okay, next I'm taking... Like, literally, an orange color. And I'm just going to kind of put this, like, on two-thirds of my eye. Starting from the middle and then... I want it, like, on the middle and the outer corners of my eye. Can you guys see that? I don't know. Hopefully... Okay, and once you have pack enough on there, I want to make sure people can actually see it. Okay, the next from my Mac eighty, my Mac, my BH Cosmetics eighty eight color palette. I'm going to be taking this corally pink color. Let me see if I can get you guys to see this. No, okay, I don't want to block it out. This color. I don't know if I can get you guys to see this color. Okay. It's this color right here. Right there. It's a corally pink color. I like actually like smacked it all off. Okay, and then I was going to kind of put this on the outer third of my eye. Mm, 
bringing it up a little bit into my crease, but not too much. Okay. And then from this Urban Decay palette, I don't know what it's called, Guns N' Roses? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to be taking the only color I really ever use on this palette, my small color. And then I just want this in the crease. Okay, and next, taking a fluffy brush, we're just going to blend, 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 blend. And I'm kind of wanting to pull all the colors like in inwards, just so they all mix well. Okay. Now I'm taking my NYX little mini eyeshadow pencil. Pencil, not my jumbo. And I just wipe off the excess because there's a lot of blackness on it. Okay. Next, I'm just going to gently, and I mean very gently, pull down your waterline and just line your waterline with this. That way your eyes stand out more, makes you look more awake, and yeah. Now unlike my others, I will not be putting um, black eyeliner on my tight line, just because I really don't want, I just want this to really stand out on my eyes. If that makes sense at all, okay. Now, after you blink a couple of times, next I'm going to take my Maybelline Lash Stiletto in black and then just line my eyes. I don't want to make it too thick, but then again, if you mess up, you kind of have to make it thick. So, let's do the best you can. Sorry, I'm going to wake out of focus on you guys. I'm just going to move you guys up. Sorry, that was like really close. I'm just going to put you guys right there. So, yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit, but that's okie dokie. And just for this looks, I'm not going to be winging out my liner. Gosh, I'm sorry, I'm like really close to the camera. I don't like being that close to cameras. It kind of freaks me out. Okay, that's good enough. Just don't close my eyes today, that's all I need to do. So, how is everyone else's day? Oh yeah, so I'm hoping to do a vlog very soon about why I have not made a video in what seems like forever, especially a beauty video. Well, my beauty video, I haven't made anything because honestly, like, I haven't, like, come up with anything new. Like, this is the first new eyeshadow I've come up with since, like, December. Just because I like to keep my eyeshadows kind of the same throughout, like, the entire season. 
I don't really change it that much unless I'm going to like a party or something, but not like that's ever gonna happen. Yeah. Okay, I need to refix that. Come back here. Okay. Yeah, so that will all be explained in a vlog video. Next, I'm just going to take my one by one Maybelline mascara. Probably did not want the video to be this long, but oh well. I'll probably cut a lot of crap out. I mean, a lot of poop out. Tee hee. So weird. Oh, yeah. And the reason I do my bottom lashes first is because I get really paranoid that, like, when I'm looking up, like, when I do that to do it, like, the mascara on my top lash is gonna like hit the eyeshadow and then I have to like go in and fix it and it's like just don't even bother with all that if I just do the bottom first. Although sometimes I do still hit my eyeshadow and then I have to go in and fix it. So, oh yeah, I'm definitely cutting a bunch of crap out. Okay, and yeah, next I'm taking my falsies Maybelline mascara, and I'm just going over my top to make it a little bit thicker. And there you go, that's pretty much it. Hopefully I can get a little better lighting. And that is pretty much how you do this look. You guys see that? I hope so. Okay guys, so I will talk to you in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been gone away for so long. It'll all be explained in a vlog coming up soon. And... Yeah, I hope everyone has a super duper fantastic fabulous day. And I will see you guys. Sorry, my my shirt's like slipping off the side of my shoulder. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.